E. coli causes disease, but it's also essential to our gut microbiomes. The line between what's a symbiont and what's a pathogen can be really blurry. How does a symbiotic bacteria get into your body in the first place? The answers are complicated and a little bit creepy. Recently we talked about the mystery of the symbiotic bacteria in aphids. Learn more about that down below. What we didn't touch on was where the symbiont came from in the first place. In 2021, researchers found a strain of the symbiont, Serratia symbiotica, that stood out from the rest. Why? Well, it wasn't symbiotic, it was pathogenic. Filthy, backstabbing, disease-causing, parasite, bad boy. This is a breakthrough because it shows that the friendly symbiotes in your body could have started off as a disease. First off, it was genetically closer to the ancestral strain than its symbiotic cousin, which suggests that this bacteria may have started off as an aphid disease. Secondly, while it infected aphids through feces, it could also be transmitted from mother to child through pregnancy just like the symbiotic strain. They even compartmentalized into the same specialized organ in the embryo. Lastly, the pathogenic strain still has a complex enough genome to allow it to survive outside of its host, even in labs. Whereas the symbiotic strain gave up on genetic complexity completely when it went all in on symbiosis. Like how you stop taking real notes if you're allowed to cheat off a classmate every single test. By comparing the two, we can learn what changed during this transition from pathogen to symbiote. Currently. Embryos infected with a pathogenic strain don't survive. It seems to be the aphid's way of telling this bad boy to stay away until it learns to play nice. Still, this research shows that diseases could have turned into helpful little guys inside our guts today. The more we learn about this transition, the better we can understand the history of this tiny friends, well friends for now, living inside our bodies. So then, is E. coli my hostage? Or am I E. coli's hostage? <laughs>